Here is blow off a doorbell. When I turn on the slide switch, you hear a loud doorbell. Turn down your volume, please, just in case. I know it's very loud, but I'm going to blow into the microphone and listen carefully. The music briefly stops before resuming again. Now, the sound is kind of distorted, but this project is very similar to blow off a space war, except now I'm using the music integrated circuit instead of the space war integrated circuit. This is blow off a candle. I replace the speaker with the L2 lamp and watch the lamp as I blow into the microphone. The lamp goes out briefly before lighting up again. It will go off once the happy birthday song plays all the way through. And then you'll have to turn the switch off and back on again to reset the circuit. This is blow on a doorbell. I modified the I modified the preceding circuit. Now this may be loud, and when I blow into the microphone, the doorbell will sound as long as I'm blowing. It'll only be on briefly though, and then turn off. And then I could. Simply for the next project, called Blow on a Candle, replace the speaker with the lamp and blowing into the microphone will turn the lamp on again. And it seems to be easier to turn it on than is to turn it off. Here is Screaming Fan. When I turn on the slide switch, you will hear the a buzzing sound from the speaker as the motor and fan spin. I'm going to move the lever on the adjustable resistor. It kind of sounds like an airplane, but when you first turn the fan on, you hear kind of like a screeching sound or a screaming sound. But you only hear it when you turn first turn the fan on. Here is whining fan. I replace the C2 capacitor with the C1 and when I turn on the switch now the fan whines instead of scream. Do it again. It also starts up a little sooner. This is light whining. I replace the R1 resistor with the photo resistor. And now when I shine light on the photo resistor, the fan spins. And then you can wave your hands or fingers over it and you can hear a lot of whining. Depending on the setting of the adjustable resistor. Whining a lot now. This is more light whining. I replaced the C1 capacitor with the C2 one, and now when I turn on the slide switch, the sounds will be lower in frequency, although it doesn't really seem to do that. And they also say that the fan will not spin, but it does, obviously, as a matter of fact. You can still control the sounds by waving your fingers or hand over the photoresistor to control the light. It's pretty high-pitched, actually. 
This is motor that won't start. I replaced the C2 capacitor with the C3 one, and now the motor or fan will only move in short bursts, depending on the setting of the RV. No matter what setting it is, it's just going to move. Although when you shine light on the photoresistor, it will spin, but not at full speed. Hence, it's like a motor that won't start. This is whiner. When I turn on the slide switch, you'll hear a very high-pitched whining sound. The sound may actually remind you of bagpipes. You can move the lever on the adjustable resistor to change the pitch. And while the LED appears to be on continuously, it's actually blinking at a very, very high rate. For a lower pitch whiner, I place the C1 capacitor right over the whistle chip, and now the pitch is a little lower due to the added capacitance. This is Hummer. I place the C2 capacitor right over the whistle chip, and now the circuit makes a humming sound instead of a whine because of the added capacitance from the C2 capacitor. This project is adjustable metronome. I place a C3 capacitor over the whistle chip with the positive end on the right, facing right, and then when I turn on the slide switch, you'll hear a clicking sound as the LED flashes. And then you can adjust the rate of the click in, of the sound and the flash of the LED by moving the lever on the adjustable resistor. This is just like a metronome that you mu musicians use to keep time to music. It's interesting how they work and how precise people who play musical instruments have to be when they are practicing or performing. That's when machines like metronomes come in handy. For quiet flasher, I replaced the speaker with the L1 lamp, and now, instead of a clicking sound, you see the lamp flash in sync with the green LED. This could be used as a warning light or a light to get someone's attention for various purposes. You can slow the rate at which the lamp flashes by using the adjustable resistor. This is hissing foghorn. When I turn on the slide switch, you will hear, depending on uh, the setting that the RV is on, you may hear a foghorn sound or a hissing sound. Sometimes you'll hear no sound at all. This is hissing and clicking. I replaced the R5 resistor with the photoresistor. And now, uh, once you move the lever on the adjustable resistor so that you hear a hissing sound, hold your hand over the photoresistor and you hear a clicking noise. Now for video game engine sound, I removed the photoresistor altogether and I'm going to touch my fingers between these two points and you may hear what sounds like an engine sound that you might hear in an auto racing video game. It's a little tricky to do this all one handed. But does the sound remind you of that? Project 193 is light alarm. When I disconnect the black jumper wire, the red LED comes on. 
when I reinsert the jumper, the LED goes off. You could use a longer wire and run it across a doorway, and then if an intruder cuts it or removes it, the light will, go, will come on, indicating a visual alarm. For brighter light alarm, I replace the LED with the L1 lamp and the R3 resistor with the R1 resistor. And the circuit works the same way, uh, removing the jumper wire, turns on the light, but it's now brighter since it's the lamp and not the LED. 195 is lazy fan. When I push the press switch, the fan will run briefly and then stop. Hence, this is the name of the project Lazy Fan. For laser light, I replace the motor with the L2 lamp. And when I hold down the press switch, the LED comes, I mean, sorry, the lamp briefly comes on and goes out like a flash from a laser. This is a water alarm. When I push the press switch, nothing happens. Now I'm going to place the ends of these jumper wires into a cup of water, make sure that they're not touching each other, and then when I push the press switch, you hear a high-pitched tone. Because now water has been detected. Remove one of the jumper wires, push the press switch, nothing happens. This could be like a, uh, an alarm to alert you of a flood. You could like have a longer wire that, uh, longer wires that run along your basement floor. And then when water contacts them in the event of like bad weather, you'll, the alarm will sound to alert you. This is Radio Announcer. For this project, you will need an AM radio. Make sure that the radio is set to an area on the AM band where there are no other stations transmitting. Ideally, that would be about a thousand kilohertz on the AM band. And then you will turn on the slide switch of the circuit and move the adjustable capacitor until you don't hear static anymore. When you tap the speaker, you can hear the sound coming from the radio itself because this is a uh, like a transmitter. And then if you talk into the microphone, you may hear your voice. I'm going to try and see what happens, see if you can hear anything. It may or may not work. Hello? How are you doing today? It's very tricky to tune the radio, the adjustable capacitor, and also even the adjustable resistor to just the precise setting so that this project will work. This is pitch. For this project and the next two subsequent projects, you'll also need an AM radio. And once the radio is tuned to the appropriate frequency on the AM band, I'll turn on the slide switch on the project, and if the radio is tuned right, you'll hear a high pitch sound. However, you can lower the pitch by moving the lever on the adjustable resistor to the left, and you'll hear that the pitch of the sound changes. Sorry that you can't completely hear the sound due to the station that the radio is tuned to. But what's interesting is that while pitch and frequency are the same thing, the field of music prefers the term pitch, while the field of electronics prefers the term frequency.